Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales. In today's video, I'm gonna cover an email that most likely you received as a Shopify owner or someone that runs a Shopify store, which the email is called authenticate and add a DMARC record to continue sending emails from your domain. So let me explain to you uh, what's going on and I'll show you how to actually fix it and how to do it. For uh, This video is for you guys that either are technical or non-technical and you don't know what to do and here's how you solve it. It's really, really simple. Very simply put, Gmail and Yahoo are making stricter requirements for domains for websites in order to send emails so uh, they can reduce spam. And so they actually requested everybody to add a DMARC policy in the DNS records to specify that you're going to track your uh, spam in your company and you're actually going to fix it and try to reduce the spam. So it's basically a policy in a DNS record that makes sure that you track your spam better so you can actually fix it, thus redu reducing the spam in Gmail and Yahoo and overall in the internet and making things better. Now uh, it's just one a specific policy. In the 1st of February 2024, Gmail and Yahoo are going to start uh, filtering out that if you don't do this, they're going to send more of your emails from your domain name uh, to the spam folder. And obviously you don't want that, so you want to fix it. So let me show you exactly what you need to do. This is exactly following all the steps that Shopify recommends. And I'm just going to make it a little bit easier and a little more visual for you guys instead of trying to figure out what this means and what's going on and researching, etc. So very simple. Uh, that's the summary. Now, uh, if you go to your, your Shopify backend, if you click on settings here and you go to the settings and you click on notifications, notifications are emails that are being sent to either the staff, your company or the customers. For example, new orders or forgot password or refund policy or whatever, whatever it might be. Those emails are being sent, for example, from a specific email. For example, I have one scales email. Now, uh, in order to send emails on behalf, so Shopify sending emails on behalf of your domain, for example, onesales.com, you need to authorize that. You need to set up some domain uh, name, some DNS settings that say, you know what, I allow Shopify to send on my behalf or else that would just be spam. Anyone can send on behalf of anybody's email and that's spammy. So you have to actually set up domain authentication, DNS records for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do two things. One is show you how to set up your own uh, DNS records to show uh, to let Shopify send on your behalf, not on behalf of uh, you know, shopifyemail.com, but on behalf of your domain, for example, one scale. And then we're going to talk about the DMARC uh, record that you need to set. If you've already verified this and it said it's already authenticated and it'll be a green color, you can skip this part and go to the DMARC part. You can see the, the YouTube uh, timing and you can actually skip it. If you haven't done, I'm going to do both of them, but in general, it's very, very quick. So what you need to do is you actually have to review the configuration and you actually have to add these DNS records. There's four records you have to add to your DNS. Depending on where you've registered your domain, it's going to be different. We actually use uh, Cloudflare, for example. So this is my DNS records. I'm going to add it. Now, very simply put, I'm going to add these records. This is, these are C names. The first one right here, I'm just going to add it very, very quickly. It'll take a few seconds. Okay, so this is one. And I'm just going to add that. This is the second one. So save excuse me, right there, made a mistake. That's one. Number two, C name. Two, okay. Proxy just means that uh, the data will go through Cloudflare and this setting doesn't need to go through Cloudflare, okay? Okay, and the last one is coming up. C name. Okay, and copied and set up. Okay, good. So once you do this, the first thing you need to do is actually click here on authenticate domain. Now, if you've done the changes in your uh, DNS, you might have to wait a few minutes before you click on authenticate. But once you actually click on authenticate, I'm going to do it right now. It's going to take up to 24 hours to authenticate. So you got to wait, you got to check back. Usually it's less than 24 hours, a lot less, but in general, we'll check back a little bit later and I'm going to resume the video. The second thing you need to do is add the DMARC uh, 
settings. So there's going to be another thing in DMARC right here, and you're actually going to put another DNS record, and it's a TXT record. Let me see, TXT record, okay? And the record is going to, the name is going to be underscore DMARC, and uh, depending on your domain name uh, registration, whoever you registered with a uh, Cloudflare, GoDaddy, whatever other ones, sometimes you actually have to do underscore DMARC dot your domain name, for example, oneskills.com. Sometimes you don't need. Uh, sometimes it adds it automatically, so you got to double check that. For us, for Cloudflare, it doesn't matter. You either do with or without the dot oneskills or dot your domain. And then what you're going to have to do is copy this specific thing, V equals DMARC1, P equals none, and then Rua, Mail2, etc. Let me explain what that means very simply, okay? The first thing is DMARC is here. I'm going to save this, first of all. DMARC is here to say if there's a spammy message, for example, Gmail detects someone trying to send on your behalf of your email, what's going to, what do you want to do with that? So DMARC is just saying this, this is, this is the policy. What do you want to do with it? So I, I want to say, hey, I don't want to do anything with it, but I want to alert a specific email in my domain name. For example, I open a new email called dmark at oneskills.com that anytime Yahoo or Gmail or any of those providers see that there's a spammy message, they're going to send me, for example, once a day, they're going to send me a list of all the emails that tried to send on my behalf so I can either block them or change or something like that. Now, the P equals none, there's a few different options you can do. But basically, you can actually delete them, you can you can quarantine them, you can change them, but the minimum requirement from Google and Yahoo is to actually make sure that at minimum you report it so you can actually fix it. And so I like to do, I don't, I, I like to do the um, report first, and then if I start learning about certain things, then I can act upon it. So I like to not uh, delete them or do anything with it. I like to actually say just report first, and then you can give your IT team some tasks to do. Okay, so I'm going to click on save. It's a TXT record underscore DMARC or underscore DMARC dot your domain dot in this case oneskills.com. Uh, and then I'm going to put the policy and I actually made an email called DMARC at oneskills, which I gave my IT and they're going to actually monitor that, etc. So now that I've finished everything, I have uh, authenticated it, right? I need to check back in one day. I have added a DMARC policy. Okay, how do I check that that DMARC policy is available? I'll put this link here. There's a few websites that do it. All you have to do is go to uh, the, the tool, click on, let's go right here, go to the tool right here, click on inspect, and if the tool is not a, in, if the tool is working, it'll say, hey, your DMARC record is valid. Perfect. It's valid. I know I did it correctly. It actually double checked that I did this correctly in my DNS. Everything's good. In addition, you want to make sure that your uh, spam, that you get a, a very little spam, a spam notification. So if if enough users complain that you have spam, for example, in their Gmail, they click on this is spam, this is spam. If you're above 0.1% of your emails, then Google and Yahoo, they're going to start to put your emails in the spam folder because it's already too spammy. Google recommends to be under 0.1, but they really are okay with up to 0.3. Obviously, you don't want to spam people. Uh, make sure. Now, the, the the last thing, so we already authenticated, which we need to double check. We already added a DMARC. We verified it, and we already make are making sure that we have less uh, spam. The last thing we need to do is register Google Postmaster Tools, which basically it's a way for you to get all your spam numbers to see uh, some graphs about what's going on. So I'm going to go to postmaster.google.com. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to add my domain name, oneskills.com going to click. Sometimes you have to do an extra step to verify, but I've already registered uh, this, and it's verified. And what you're going to do if you check back in a few days, if you click on your domain name, you're going to actually be able to see all these other reports, the uh, spam rate, things like that. If you remember, the spam rate, they want you to be under 0.1%. You'll be able to see the percentage of spam, excuse me, and all these other reports. So if you have any issues, delivery issues, spam issues, you can actually monitor them and then give to your IT and you can start fixing it. So this is a really good way for you to be proactive as well. The DMARC email that we set up is also going to be proactive because it's going to send you emails on things that uh, others are trying to send emails on your behalf. So that's a great way to do it. Um, so other than that, that's it. Th these are all the steps you have to do. The last thing uh, that we need to do is check back a little bit later to make sure that uh, 
everything is confirmed. Oh, and actually it is confirmed. So domain successfully authenticated. The last thing you need to do in order to verify if it's authenticated is just go to your notifications, click on order confirmation and actually send a test and verify that is actually okay. So let's, let's do that right now. Okay. So I'm going to send an email to myself. So now that I got my email, I got an order confirm email. I go here and I can see that it's actually being sent from my one scales email and it's being sent uh, uh, no problem, everything's okay, so we're good to go. And if I click on the actual show or origin, I'll be able to see everything is okay, there's no, no problems, everything is good. Okay, and that's it, DMARC pass, this is a little more technical, everything's okay. So we're good to go, everything's set up, we don't have to worry about spam filters, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope everything works out for you guys. If you have any questions, as always, we're here to help. We're here to solve problems for you. Give us a specific case that you have, uh, and we're here to help. Hopefully, you uh, do everything by yourself, and we're here to provide more information. If you did like this video, please uh, say hi. Please like. Please subscribe. Uh, let us know what other videos you want to do with Shopify, with anything we, we make. Uh, share with us your information. We're trying to create a community. We love you guys. We hope uh, we can uh, connect with you guys more. Much, much appreciated.